We have fire. It's burning down pretty good now. It's wasted all this time and effort. Let's give this another shot. Welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill. Glad you could join me. Today we're going to take a look at the bottle hitch. Stay tuned. Okay, what we're going to do today is a, a hitch known as the bottle hitch or bottle sling. And basically it's a very convenient way of connecting a piece of cordage, a continuous loop of cordage using a hitch technique that will cinch up around the neck of the bottle here. It works really good on uh, on any bottle that has a lip on it here. And what this basically does, it allows you to carry the bottle uh, hands-free, either around your neck, over your shoulder, or uh, hooked to a, a belt loop. And you can still take the cap off and drink from the bottle without removing the hitch. It's really cool. It's a little more involved, it's a little more complicated, so this one's going to take some practice. So what I have here is a piece of 550 paracord. <coughs> Excuse me. It's exactly five foot long. And the first thing we're going to do, we're going to construct a continuous loop of cordage. So in order to do that we're just going to uh, tie a double fisherman's knot here. Oop, better get a little more slack on it. Pass that running in back through the loops here. And snug it down, dress it up. And that's real easy to do. Just run your pass your running in around one turn. two turns <clears throat> and then pass your running end back through your loops and then dress it up pull it down tight and when you pull these together they jam up against one another <clears throat> excuse me and how you know you've tied this properly you have two X's. The cordage forms two X's and when you turn it to the other side it is four equal turns of cordage. That's how you know you've tied the uh, double fisherman's properly. Okay now that we have we've just formed a continuous loop of cordage here. We're going to take this knot double fishermen's we're going to put this at the bottom just like that we're going to take this top part here and this is where things are going to get complicated and I know it's going to be very confusing so if you have to pause the video put it on slow motion 
you can adjust the speed of the uh, the playback speed there should be three little dots on the upper right hand uh, corner uh, YouTube on the YouTube videos and if you click that there should be an, uh, a drop down menu and an option it will be uh, your uh, playback quality <clears throat> and there should be an option there to uh, to adjust the playback speed so you, you should be able to put it in slow motion if you have to and this one's going to take some practice it's a little bit confusing at first like anything is uh, in, it, when it's new until we uh, we learn what we're doing and we get used to it okay okay so we're going to take the cordage and double it back over onto itself what we've formed here are two ears we'll just call them rabbit ears next we're going to take the right ear we're going to pass it over the left When you have it formed up properly, it should look something like this. Now this is where things are going to get complicated. It will be complicated until you get it down. We're going to take this piece here. We're going to pass it under this piece, over this piece, under this piece, and up over this piece. And when we pull it out the top, it's going to form a loop or a bite, B-I-G-H-T. So when you do this, you want to kind of hold everything so it doesn't, it wants to move on you and everything will get out of order here pretty easy. So what I do is, you want to do this on the ground or on a blanket. I pull this underneath, just like this. Use the rest of your fingers to kind of hold everything down. Go over, under this piece, and we're going over the top one. You'll have something that looks just like this. Now the two pieces that we're concerned about at this point <clears throat> is this piece right here and this piece right behind it. We're going to take those two and pull the front one down, the one in the front, pull it down, the one in the back, pull it down and grab both Bring the, the back forward, the top forward, and then grab both. You'll have something that looks just like that. It looks complicated, but it really isn't. That is our bottle hitch. We'll take that hitch, goes right on top of the bottle. Snug it down. Make sure it's seated down on the neck of the bottle. And pull either ends of the cord. And that is really on there tight. When that cinch is on, it's really, really on there tight. Now the nice thing with this is, this is multifunctional. For one, we have a belt loop here. We can take a carabiner, slap the carabiner on, and we have a nifty way of mounting 
carrying the bottle on a belt loop or a pack strap, whatever you want to hook it to. This other end, we have a shoulder strap. Or a neck lanyard, if you want to carry it around your neck. And if you need to shorten the cord for whatever reason, you simply split the fisherman's knot just like this and it shortens the cord up for whatever uh, whatever uh, method you're, you're going to use to uh, to carry the bottle. I'm going to walk us through that one more time but this is really secure really secure way of carrying a, uh, a bottle. Once that hitch cinches down on there and they're actually kind of a pain in the butt to remove it's it, once they're on there's almost like a timber hitch but it really holds tight I mean that's not coming off of there it's a full bottle of water and bouncing it around and you can see it's really really holds snug and the nice thing is you can remove the cap and drink out of the bottle without having to uh, remove remove the hitch. So I'm going to cut the video. I'm going to take all of this off and uh, let's go through it a couple more times. Stay tuned. Well, I hope all of you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it today. Please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see all of you very soon on the next one. Everybody take care. Bye-bye. Does this bottle make my butt look big?